There is a lot going on with S3 objects, um, but what I really want you to know is that they represent data and they are not infrastructure that matters because AWS has um, things like IAM permissions and resource tags, and those work at the infrastructure level, but this is not an infrastructure thing. And so you're gonna have alternate services that seem like they, we should just use the other ones, but they have to be separate services. There's also just a lot of stuff going around um, or that is uh, around S3 objects that we should know. So uh, let's take a look at the list. We have e-tags. This is a way to detect when the contents of an object has changed without, without downloading the contents. We have checksums. This ensures the integrity of a file being uploaded or downloaded. We have object prefixes. This simulates file system folders in a flat hierarchy. There actually can be folders when we have um, the directory bucket type, but for the most part, uh, just pretend that folders don't exist. Uh, we have object metadata. This allows us to attach data alongside the contents to describe the contents of the data. We have object tags. Uh, this gives us kind of the benefits of resource taggings, but at the object level, we have object locking. This makes uh, data files immutable. We have object versioning. This allows us to have multiple versions of data files. Uh, there's definitely more than just this, but this is some of the most important things. But now let's go dive into these things, okay?